hi guys welcome or welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here hi my name is renee and if you enjoy this video you have to subscribe in order to see more videos like this so today we have a makeup review for today's makeup we're reviewing the maybelline skin tint i have it in two shades i have 338 and i also have 355 now side by side comparison these do look alike if you look closely there is a slight difference but not really much on camera they also have little shimmers in them so they say to shake this very well let me bring you a little closer so this one is in the shade 338 and this one is in the shade 335 Now, can you see the difference? One is lighter than the other. So 338, it has a cool undertone and 355 has a neutral undertone. Right off of the back, 338 looks like it would match my skin tone. However, it has like a white cast that I really do not like. So I'm going to go in with 355. I'm going to use my primer and I'm using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Because I have a very shiny nose, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Marseille Powder and this is translucent. Let's go in with the skin tint. Now they say that this lasts up to 24 hours. Oops also that it gives a medium to full coverage i think i applied too much so i'm just going to take some off how do i take some off oh my god it's going my bro okay so this is how it looks right now I brought you up closer so you would see the difference that it's making on my skin. Because this one is a bit too dark for me, just a bit. And then the other one is just my perfect shade, but the undertone is off. Even though my skin tint is off right now, I'm going to try and fix that with concealing. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is in the shade 43. So with this concealer, I'm still seeing darkness underneath my eyes. So I'm going to go in with some more and I'm just going to let this sit some more underneath my eyes so i'll have a better coverage
So I'm really loving how my makeup looks right now. It looks really, really nice. Um, for a skin tint, it does look like foundation because it covered my imperfections and it makes my skin looking really nice. It does have that natural radiant look at first when you apply it but obviously as you put the powder on it's going to set it down for you but as the days go by then you'll see that radiant peeking through again and i also think this might be a dupe for the mario foundation because a lot of people said it does have that reflexing in it and it does give a natural look so hmm, for a cheaper more affordable skin tint yeah definitely so thank you so much for watching and you'll see me in my next video bye